Hey, what is going on guys? You're here from Maji and Jay. Today we're going to be checking out a drone that, well, it is obvious to say that resembles the Mavic drones from DJI. And this one is called the Holy Stone HS720 model. And to be quite honest with you guys, it's been a while since I got sponsored for the drone. This one was actually purchased out of pocket from Amazon with the Prime service. And at the time of purchase, it was $250. Now I noticed that it went up to $299, but there's a coupon of $20, so you're getting it for $279. Again, it comes with the Amazon Prime service, so you get it only in two days inside of the USA. This drone, as stated here, it is recommended for ages 16 plus, and this is a 2.4 gigahertz uh, drone with 5 gigahertz uh, FPV transmission via Wi-Fi. It comes with an independent ESC, brushless motors, we get the 2204 models for the motors, and 1400 KVs, which is really nice. They're super quiet as well. Again, here we have the 2.4 gigahertz transmitter technology with weak signal and low voltage alarm. So yes, if you're running out of battery, it'll first of all return to you safely. And second, you're going to get the alarm on the actual transmitter itself, which is really nice. On the back side here, we get another picture of the drone, this time more of the side of it. And it comes with a 2K camera, which is again another plus, and it has a 26 minutes maximum lasting battery. In my testing, it did about almost 23 minutes before it did the auto return feature because the battery was running out. So I guess uh, they're saying maximum 26. Yeah, they sound about right. By the time it gets back to you, it lands probably 25 minutes. It has GPS, auto return, as I already explained. It has orbit mode features and many others that we see are more expensive drones. And that's why I am reviewing this because I think it's really cool for the price. So if that's not enough for you, but I already told you about all the cool specifications, well, here's another one. It comes with a carrying case. Here it is. So with DJI drones, this comes as a separate item. And last time I checked on Best Buy, to get one of these cases for your DJI drones, uh, original branded, they are about 80, 60, 80 dollars. So that's cool. So it comes with a very premium zipper. I'm trying to be as detailed as possible here. I know you guys like the most detailed reviews out there. So anyways, here we have the case inside. We find uh, a little foam here protecting the drone itself. We have a little compartment on the upper side of the lid. And uh, we have the manuals. Okay, very easy to understand manuals. And here we have what you guys have been waiting for. Here we have the drone itself, again with the foldable design, and this looks almost identical to the DJI brand. You guys can't deny it. On the front here we have a shockproof camera. This is a 2K camera. And I gotta admit guys, it has some jello effect into it when you're flying out there. Um, it does have some okay qualities, like colors. Uh, I mean, for me, they're a little bit oversaturated, but uh, a lot of people like that. They like saturated colors. So that's exactly what this thing is going to offer you. And for $250, it is not bad at all. So on the bottom here of the drone, we have a sensor right here. We have the lights. You can turn this on with the transmitter itself for night flying. And uh, we get the brushless motors. They're right here. We get a power key. On the back, we have the battery indicator. And this is the battery itself. I believe it's a 2800 million battery. Let's go ahead and confirm that here. And yes, this is a 7.4 volt, 2800 million battery. Very cool. And I believe this is the same battery as, um, or at least the same capacity as other models that they have out there. So here we have, again, the information for, uh, for this particular drone. Very cool. Uh, inserting the battery back on here. Again, guys, this is really easy to use type of drone. Um, here it does give you the information on how to open the arms. So basically the ones facing or the motors facing towards the front side, those open first like so. And then you do the same here with the front ones and voila, here it is. Okay. You get a little SD card slot right here on the right side, looking at it from the back. And on the other side here, we get nothing underneath the drone. We get some LED lights. 
and they have different colors i'll be explaining later exactly what they are let me set this aside real quick the next thing you find here is the transmitter itself very very similar if not almost identical to the dji um, transmitter now the difference is that this time on the bottom this is going to be the handles so you can grab it instead of putting your phone down here as you can see it's a little bit different these antennas are not real they're just there to mimic or to look similar to the DJI drones so they don't have any wires that go on them okay so I just decided to give you that information just in case so on the upper right hand side corner of this transmitter we have this button that uh, enables you to change the speed of the drone you have high and low if you hold and press it for about two seconds it'll change the uh, speed and if you press it quickly like so it'll turn on and off the lights on the drone on the left hand side here you have another button now this one here is for the camera if you guys press it once it'll take a picture if you hold and press it it'll start recording this little wheel right here on the left hand side doesn't do anything this one is to move the camera only moves up and down I guess this one is in case uh, it didn't move from side to side or I don't know exactly what this is some of them um, or some of the drones that I've seen in the past this is also to change the um, the white balance on the actual camera but this time it doesn't do anything now the bracket for your cell phone is actually up here so you need to pull it like so and to be honest with you it kind of feels fragile but uh, it hasn't broken yet so I guess that's good news and your phone sits right here you stretch this and it'll grip right on here so let me show you exactly how it works okay like so and voila there we have it okay so now you know and here we have the levers to take off and this is all very standard this button here is to take off and also land um, it depends on what height you have the drone flying on it doesn't work for you know if you're really high up there and this is the auto return one so if you lost sight of the drone um, or something happened you don't know how to bring it back just press this and it'll land exactly where it took off so here we have the bonding slash um, locking engine lock button so when you turn this on uh, to pair with the drone you need to hold and press this and then turn this on so let me show you hold and press it turn the transmitter and as you can see these lines right here means that it's trying to bond with the actual drone so after this you would turn on the drone and it'll pair for you let me show you exactly what I'm talking about so there I turn the drone and now you can see that it has bonded with the drone and now I get a battery indicator right here for the drone and I have one for the transmitter itself okay so it is that easy I'm gonna turn it off here for a second and I'll be showing you exactly how to calibrate it. Every time you fly, you have to calibrate the compass. But anyways, on the back side here, we have the compartment for two AA batteries. They're not included. So make sure that you get some good name brands. I got Rayovax, but Energizer or Duracell are recommended. They are better quality. And uh, here we have one more thing, and that is the GPS switch right here. So if you flick it down, it'll turn off the GPS mode you flick it up it'll turn on the gps mode and that's it for the transmitter finally here we have some accessories inside of the box a props we get four of them which is really cool uh, we get the balance charger and this time it works with a usb type c port i don't know if you guys can see that right there but yes it does work with a usb type c port and you can charge two batteries at the same time you get the indicator separately for both of them this light is always going to be red and then if your battery is charging it'll blink green and once it's charged it'll uh, turn solid green that means that you are all set and again it takes about five to seven hours to completely charge your battery which I think is a little ridiculous but anyways um, it works so here we have the screwdriver so you can remove the props on the drone itself for replacement and finally we get a USB Type-C uh, cable and that's all we get inside of the box. Pretty simple and straightforward.
So let me and now to set up the HS720, it's actually a very simple process as I explained before. Um, all we have to do here is just hold and press the lock key and at the same time turn it on. And you will notice once you are in binding mode because this lines are going to start moving up and down as you can see and now all we have to do is just turn on the drone itself and now you're going to get that beep two beeps and that states that it is currently uh, bonded as you can see the lines are no longer moving and on here we're going to have some information as i explained before we had the battery of the drone um, already displayed on here we have the transmitter battery level and here it went into compass calibration mode so once you guys see that little symbol blinking that means that we have to calibrate the compass so the lights are going to turn um, green they're going to be blinking green on the front and also on the back at first before it bonds they're going to be uh, blinking in yellow green and red so again once it's bonded you will notice it because you're going to get this uh, little symbol right here on the upper left hand side corner all we have to do is rotate it clockwise three times the way you guys see me doing it right now and then after doing so you're going to point it upwards and then you're going to do the same thing just turn it clockwise about three times and you will notice that you did it correctly because the light now remain solid as you can see the fronts are red and the backs are green and that is an indication that you are all set to take off to activate the motors for takeoff you need to press this locking button otherwise you won't be able to take off even if you press this button it is simply not going to work now all you have to do guys is connect to the application so like I said before is the Ophelia GPS application I believe is somewhere on the back here let me see if I can find it and there it is so all you do is open it right now it is not connected to the Wi-Fi so before we can go to the application you go here into Wi-Fi connections on your uh, smart device it could be iOS or Android and then you're gonna find this Wi-Fi name it says Holy Stone FPV just connect to that and this is a 5 gigahertz connection by the way so there we go we have now connected successfully all we do now is again return to that application and here it is just click on go click on next and click it here once more and there we have it it has already connected successfully very simple process to do and when I was out there flying guys uh, first and foremost I would like to say that the camera did a good job for the most part with the colors I mean everything looks for the most part clear but there's a little bit of jello effect so I'm assuming that they need to work a little bit more on the stabilization of this drone but again it did very well it took off very easily when I pressed the auto takeoff button it responded very well again unlocking the motors also worked very nicely I didn't have an issue whatsoever the range was quite okay I mean I didn't go to the maximum because I was flying on top of other uh, private properties which I'm not supposed to but uh, you know I didn't want this thing to crash on me I, I you know I gotta get that trust before I can do things of that nature so at that time I wasn't uh, very familiarized with the drone but yes it does have a you know quite long range even though it is a 2.4 gigahertz transmitter and the follow me feature worked very nicely I didn't test the orbit mode but I did test the follow me feature and then a little after I went ahead and did the auto return home and it landed maybe three or four feet away from where it took off from so that's not bad at all considering that this is only a $280 drone well before it was 250 but yes now it is a $280 drone so I gotta say it's quite competitive with the exception of the camera it did last to me about 23 minutes up there in the air so I don't have uh, you know a complaint when it comes to the battery I would definitely recommend getting a secondary battery when they become available just because of the simple fact that it takes about five to seven hours to charge it and yes guys they really mean it it takes a long time uh, for this thing to charge and I guess that's one of the cons of this particular drone but other than that it is a very easy to fly drone definitely recommended for beginners you're not breaking the bank if something happens and for some reason you crash it well at least you're not losing 11 to 1200 dollars now keep in mind that this drone doesn't have crash avoidance sensors it does have a landing sensor here so when you are about to completely land the drone it'll take there maybe like a few seconds um, I guess 
knowing where it's landing and then it'll completely land safely. So again, I didn't have any issues with the landing feature and everything worked great. The only um, uh, complaint I have about this thing is that you have to calibrate it every time you take off flying. So let's say I turn it off and I want to fly within the next 10 minutes, I will have to do the calibration all over again. So other than that, I think it definitely deserves a try. If you guys don't like it, you know, you can always return it. This is coming via Amazon Prime. So you have about what, maybe 45 days to return it, which is really cool. And um, well, in my personal experience, I got to say that it is a tremendous drone. Um, you know, so far the motors seem to be very well made and the overall quality of the drone itself feels nice. Now I do have to admit that once you take off the battery, it doesn't feel anything like the real Mavics. This thing is quite light. I guess the, uh, you know, I guess most of the weight is coming from the battery itself. But other than that, it definitely does what they are promising. Again, on the camera side, I think it needs some improvements, maybe with the focus and maybe with the stabilization, but that's pretty much it. For $280, let me know what you guys think on the comment section below. With this being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Let me know if you want more footage about this particular drone. Like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys on my next one.